<clears throat> this is the book of wisdom of Solomon, <clears throat> chapter 3, verse 1. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of Yahweh, and there should no torment touch them. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakbadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, teaching us this truth according to the Bible and rule well. Another shalom on our sincere Akim. Throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity and in charity. And another shalom to all you sincere followers, believers of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Not just hears the word. But do as well, you men, women, and children, and hopefully elect. Shalom. All right. <clears throat> Back with another lesson through the spirit and power. Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. Lord, what is lessons edifying? Um, the Lord will have us in these times, man. Now, you read the scriptures. You think about all the ugly things that are getting ready to happen upon the earth and that are happening on the earth. <clears throat> the Lord is going to take care of us, man. The hopeful elect. You know, Lord willing, you know, we're a part of that number. Okay. And the scripture said, I'm just gonna grab a few precepts on it. And, you know, you know, like most of my lessons, they're not long. Wrap it on up, and Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. <clears throat> because we need these uh these uh spiritual boosters, man. All right, constantly remind ourselves that the Lord has us, man. Okay. This is wisdom of Solomon chapter 3, verse 1. It says, But the souls of the righteous <clears throat> are in the hand of Yahweh. All right, going back to Deuteronomy 32 and 39. All right, we are all in the hands of the Lord. Okay. <clears throat> it says, and there shall no torment touch them because <clears throat> torments are coming. All right, torments, you know, uh, uh, are really on, upon the earth now. And they're really going to, um, you know, make themselves known through these different prophecies that are coming up. Like uh, the, uh, the prophecy of famine. All right, the Lord told us that their famines will come, which is a lack of food, bread, <clears throat> water, resources. Matter of fact, let's just get one precept on a famine. Let's go to uh, let's go to Second Ezra. All right, let's go to Second Ezra because the Lord talks about a famine throughout all the scriptures. All right, let's grab one that's um, you know, right here. There's a Second Ezra chapter fifteen. I saw the one that I'm going to jump down. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Now, who's the Lord's people? One got to ask themselves, right? Well, by process of elimination, contrary to your, your pastors and your churches, contrary to, you know, what you've been taught growing up, the children of the Lord are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, wherever they are scattered amongst these other nations because we've been scattered according to our transgressions against the heavenly father so you're going to have israelites looking like <clears throat> a so-called white person a so-called chinese japanese so-called african so-called arab okay but once again okay the lord told us to speak thou in the ears of his people the words of prophecy it means to tell you before it happens <clears throat> okay which i will put in thy mouth saith the lord and the mouthpiece of the lord is the prophets all right, start by head apostles and elders, the great millstone. All right, on down. All right, verse five, I'm jumping down, it says, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. So the Lord said, These plagues are coming on upon the earth, He's bringing them. Right? It says, The sword, famine, death, and destruction. <clears throat> and that's why I read. It was my Solomon um, 3. It says, The soul of the righteous are in the hand of the Lord, and there shall no torment touch them. These things are not going to be upon the hopeful elect. Now, some brothers will be, you know, taken out for, the, for this truth. Okay. But at the end of the day, you know, that, that's their lot. Right? Whoever it may be. But the point I want to make here is that the Lord said, He's going to have us, man. He's going to have us, man. And that got to be your faith. Everything else in this world, everything else in, in, in Esau's kingdom has failed us, man. If you've been living on this earth long enough and you're a so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, Indian, or Israelite foreigner, you understand that the ways of the so-called white man has failed you, right? And the only way it doesn't fail you is by doing wickedness, man. And look at the, the, uh, 
the, um, the ones of our people who are, are somebody who got something, they've done wicked things to receive it. That's why the scriptures say, marvel not at the works of a sinner. Okay, I believe that's in the book of Sirach as well. <clears throat> but anyways, I just want to get that point on, on famine. So the Lord said he's going to bring these things. All right. <clears throat> and the Lord said that we're going to laugh. Right? We're going to laugh when these famines hit, man. And that's, hey, look, <laughs> we don't know how, but the scriptures say we will. And that got to be our faith. Let's get that in Job. Let's get that in Job. Job, uh, Job 5. All right. This is Job 5. And um, I'll start it. Uh, I'll I, I get at 20. <clears throat> it says, In famine he shall redeem thee. I start 19. This is Job 5 and 19. It says, He shall deliver thee in six troubles, yea, in seven. There shall no evil touch thee. That's right, because Lord willing by that seventh trump was up in those those chariots, man. Because if you're not in them chariots by the seventh trump, man, you're part of the destruction, the nuclear destruction that's going to befall here, Babylon Great, aka America. All right. <clears throat> Verse twenty says, "In famine, right? We just read about famine. The Lord says He's bringing the famine, a lack of food, bread, water, resources. Okay, it says, "In famine He shall redeem thee from death." Right? So the Lord's going to redeem us by his back, get us out of that situation. Okay? One way or the other. And, we, we, and when you read the accounts which we have read, the Lord has always taken care of his men, of his servants, the ones who are serving him. All right? Once again, this is just a little, you know, uh, uh, I just want to say a, a faith booster to boost your faith and continuing to trust in the Lord. Look, me and myself, first and foremost, because I'm doing this lesson. Okay. <clears throat> it says, um, where we at? Where we at? Job 5 and, um, 20. It says, And famine shall redeem thee from death, and war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shall I be afraid of destruction when it cometh. Now, these things that are war, destruction, okay, the scourge of the tongue, all, when, when all these things come down, the Lord said, said what? Neither shall thou be afraid when it cometh. And that's a tough, tough, you know, thing to actually fathom. But hey, look, that's the spirit the Lord is going to have on us, man. Lord, women, some of those men, all right? Some of those uh, sincere women, okay? Sincere uh, 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 children, okay? Lord, put a cold spirit on us, man. <clears throat> it says, verse 22, at destruction and famine. At the destruction of this place, wars, uh, chaos, uh, 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 Jacob's trouble, martial law, pestilence, disease, you name it, man, famine. The Lord said what? Verse 22, destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. And you got to think about it. In that day, nothing going to be funny. No one's going to be cracking jokes. But the Lord said, we are going to laugh. And look, that got to be your faith, man. That has to be your faith. It says, um, neither shall thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth, right? These different wild animals. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. All right. So the Lord said the beasts of the earth are going to be at peace with us, man. Because think about it, all hell breaking loose. Let's go. Look. <laughs> It tells us in, in Matthew, what, 24. All right, let me get that real fast. The day that's coming is not going to be a day like you're on the earth, man. So you got to imagine all hell going to be breaking loose everywhere. These zoos going to let these animals out. All right. And like, <laughs> like Hawaii said, they're going to munchy, crunchy on people. Okay, and that's what you're going to get ready to see, man. But the Lord said, what, the beast's going to be in league with us. They're going to be in peace with us. <clears throat> this is Matthew 24 and um, 21. It says, For then shall great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, no ever shall be. So the time is getting ready to come upon the earth. It's not going to be a time like it ever on the face of the earth. All right. But guess what? We're going to be all right. The Lord going to have his angels protecting us. 
All right, he's going to deliver us during these times of famine. And look, that's, that, that, ha that has to be your faith. That has to be your hope because everything else is going to fail you. You know, scriptures say, curse be the man that trusts of a man. All right. Let's get one last one. Wrap it on up. <clears throat> Not Proverbs. I want to go to Psalms. Psalms, 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 Psalms. I believe it's Psalms. Yeah. <clears throat> this is Psalms 34 and 7. I saw it six. It says, This poor man crieth, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. We are that poor man. All right. So, for that, once again, our, our apostles, elders, on down to our apostles, on down to brothers like ourselves, man, all right, are crying, are crying to the Lord. Remember, the Lord said, Give him no rest till he make Jerusalem a praise in, 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 in the earth. All right. This is uh, verse 7. And look, the scripture, and he's and he going to save us out of our troubles. That's beautiful, man. That's something we got to, you know, constantly uh, 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 hammer home to the hopeful elect. The Lord got us. The Lord got us, man. We just got to endure and, and pray that we're part of his elect number to be delivered, to be saved, to be protected in these uh, horrible times that we're living in. All right. Verse uh, 7. It says, here's the point. Psalms 34 and 7. The angel of the Lord and campeth round about them that fear him and deliver them that fear him once again see how everything always goes back to fear all right we're supposed to be fearing you how about shimmy all shy that's the beginning of knowledge okay so when we opened up with wisdom of solomon 3 said but the souls of the righteous are in the hand of, of yahweh and there should no torment touch them. Yeah, it's because he's going to have his angels protecting us, man. He's going to have his angels. Remember, he uh, told us in, um, in, um, in the book of Daniel that Michael shall stand up. The great prince will stand for the children of thy people. The Lord's going to set up a standard, man. So we just got to keep our faith in your house. Don't, don't, don't fade away, all right, because tough times are coming. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, His only God and Son, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Kakadash, the Lord, our Apostle, Elder, Great Millstone, Shalom.